What's going on people, Zap here, and I'm back with another video. And this one calls for a special occasion. I wake up this morning, my Discord is blowing up, I'm getting mad messages asking me about this uh, trailer for Gears of War E-Day and if I'd seen it or not. And I had not seen it yet. And uh, yeah, I wanted to make sure that I saved my reactions for when I actually got to see the trailer. Um, you know, I gotta give Eagle credit, man. He was like, hey man, they're gonna they're gonna announce uh, uh, a new Gears game over the weekend for Summer Games Fest, and I was like, ah man, we ain't getting that, we ain't getting that. And lo and behold, Sunday morning, we get it, and uh, Gears of War E Day. Let's go ahead and see what it's all about. I'm not gonna waste too much of you guys' time, and uh, let's go ahead and watch this trailer, and then I will give my thoughts after we have watched it. Make this a little bit bigger. In engine footage, okay. Mm hmm. Big old locust. Ooh. Come on, Marcus. Woo! Damn. My oh, man Marcus getting the beats. Retro Lancer. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Oh shit. Emergence hole. Ooh. Damn, it doesn't even look like Marcus. For real, for real. Oh shit, it's done. Yo. Oh, dude. Little Mad World playing in the background. Dude, look, there's still lights on in the city. Corpser. Hear people screaming. Oh, my God. Ah. <sighs> Okay, so, so, um, there's a lot to say there. Um, so I've been wanting, after Gears of War 3, I always said that if they plan on doing more Gears games, then they should do either a Pendulum War era Gears game, or they could do an Emergence Day game. You know, or they could do a Locust War game. I think a Locust War focus game would have been cool too, like uh, the Locust Civil War. But this is great too. You know, we got the Emergence Day stuff. We're back to basics. It seems like Marcus and Dom. Seeing Dom come back, and thinking back to Gears Three, uh, and then hearing the Mad World medley in the back, it kind of, it kind of. Uh, Got me a little choked up there for a bit. I have a very long history with this game and its franchise. Uh, the Gears games actually are what got me started on YouTube. So seeing that it's returning and that it's going back to hopefully what made the franchise so great to begin with has me extremely excited. But rightfully pessimistic and wary. Because with Gears 4 and with Gears 5, we, we got burned. And they didn't end up the way that we had hoped that they would be. So hopefully the coalition is taking things back to basics and giving us what we, the, the Gears of War fan base, 
want and what I feel like our loyalty to this franchise deserves. Um, so, man, there's a lot. There's a lot to unpack there, and I think over time I'm gonna eventually uh, talk about it some more, especially as more information gets funneled out to us. Uh, you know, with like news from the coalition and um, you know, uploads like trailers and stuff like that. You know, when we finally get to see some actual gameplay and learn more about what we're gonna be uh looking forward to with that. So, yeah, I I'm pretty excited about it, and I think this is a good time to revisit the Gears of War games, and uh, I guess it's time for me to go back to. Uh, where I came from and go back to my roots. So, yeah, I, I guess I'm back on Gears of War and uh, I'll be playing the campaign throughout the week. So from Gears of War 1 all the way through Gears 5, I'm going to be playing and streaming the campaigns on Twitch to kind of uh, get reacclimated to the games and hopefully bring some of you guys who might not have played the Gears of War games, hopefully bring you guys along for the ride and uh, hopefully you guys can find out exactly why I love this franchise so much. Uh, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section about the trailer. Uh, does it have you excited? Are you a little wary about it? Tell me what you guys think. And I will see you guys in uh, future videos. Peace. I'm so fucking happy. You guys have no idea. <laughs>